What's up guys, welcome back to another 3000 GT VR4 video. We just got it back home. If you haven't seen that video yet, go check it out first and come back to this one. Uh, today we're going to be focusing on some details that I went over with you guys in the previous video, such as pretty much restoring all of the front end. So as you guys can see, it's a little bit wet still, but usually this is super rusted. Go ahead and sand down all the areas that have some sort of surface rust primer it and then go ahead and paint it black so go ahead and just remove this thing here too and uh paint that as well i don't really see anything else with some surface rust this engine bay just needs an overall detail i've never really detailed it ever since i've owned it um, and it's about to be two years in february um, as far as um, owning this car so it's pretty crazy but i did want to go ahead and uh, remove the passenger side door card to go ahead and check out the window regulator as you guys can see i'm also missing the uh, door handle which i'm going to go ahead and go pick up from a fellow 3000 gt owner tonight and i guess this is a common issue with the 3000 gt guys not too sure but um this hook broke so this thing's always moving around so it's quite annoying he also has that piece the only issue i've encountered with this window regulator right off the bat is that apparently there's two versions for the 3000 gts there's one version for the 91 to 96 and there's a second version for the 97 to 99 so this is a 98 um the 91 to 96 one is easily available amazon online everywhere the 97 to 99 window regulator i cannot find i've asked a bunch of people um i looked everywhere and i called a couple dealerships and uh no one really seems to have these so if anyone has some insight as far as where to get a passenger side window regulator you guys let me know we do have the build for the evo going on right now i still have to go ahead and pretty much get this thing on the ground anyways because we have to go take it to uh, get painted and fixed um, so it should be a roller at least so expect a youtube video on the evil build series from my evil guys i know you guys are kind of waiting i'm kind of taking my time with this build and uh pretty much just trying to knock out the details on this one Sanded and smoothed it, smoothed it? Uh, basically all the rust spots are smoothed out. Smooth, I don't know how to say it. <laughs> Went ahead and started masking down all the wires. I'm guessing I'm gonna go ahead and paint it from like here to there. Um, I have to be careful with all that. I don't wanna get any overspray, so this might take me a while to mask down. My buddy came out and started up the NSX. It's been sitting for a good minute. Um, he did uh, break his APR splitter, so. So while I mask this thing up, I kind of wanted to talk to you guys about how much of a difficulty I've been having to get parts for these cars. Uh, a lot of stuff is starting to become discontinued. Uh, I feel like the DSM and Evil parts are way more accessible. Where do you guys think we're going to end up as 3S owners 5, 10, 15, 20, 30 years from now where these cars are basically extinct and uh, parts are even harder to find? Like I feel like we're the next generation of like... Um, not car enthusiasts, but you know like how the older guys have like the little old school hot rods and stuff like that. I feel like we're going to end up being just like them going to like Cars and Coffee in 2060 when EV cars are like 
have taken over and stuff like that. I don't know how we're gonna do it. If we're already struggling right now, I can't imagine, you know, a decade from now. So I don't think I have enough paper to be honest. kind of clown me because uh, I was not prepared <laughs> to do this masking thing properly I should have gotten more paper I kind of worked with what I got and I was able to cover pretty much everything I'm gonna go ahead and spray uh, primer on the areas that kind of need a little bit more love per se so I did have this from a while back I have VHT uh, and engine animal primer and I have around 70% of this uh, rust-oleum touch so it's good for wood metal plastic anymore first coat already and uh, it looks a lot better um, I just did like a 50% overlay you're not supposed to go super heavy on the first coat I'm gonna try to do as many coats as possible I'm gonna go ahead and start taking apart the window regulator here or at least the door card so we can inspect it Cut. okay well first of all that plug it's not even connected so all right so I went ahead and connected the plug let's just triple make sure that uh it's not that so window okay so i heard something something's going up and down huh check this out there's a piece of wood that was in there when i bought the car not sure why but uh probably inspect that wow be really careful with this super delicate looking at it uh this is just hanging out you know chilling <laughs> um, i noticed this wood plate in here was actually being pushed against this piece here which is what kept the window from going down so i'm um, assuming something is going on as you guys saw when i connected it though it was still something was working so and you guys can kind of give me some insights there's also this one right here huh. what do you guys suggest um let me know in the comment section i really want to figure this out i'm not going to order well i can't even find one to begin with but uh i have to figure out why this is this i guess i could take out the window regulator but then if i do I won't be able to put this thing back up and oh <laughs> and it's supposed to keep raining uh the following week so i don't want to really risk getting a bunch of water in here so you guys let me know for now we'll figure this out later uh this is definitely an issue though and i do want to fix it as i want working uh window so usually my second coat usually a lot heavier make sure everything is covered you know the primer is showing anymore So Alex isn't here, but I guess this is his brother's uh, VR4. What year is this? 93, 94, based off the front bumper. Headlights, head latches. Yeah, I like the color on it. I'm not sure if that's stock or not, but. Shout out to Alex for giving me his uh, spares and uh, I'll catch you guys tomorrow.
front bumper and headlights back on. It usually takes me uh, quite a while to install the front bumper because there's just bolts everywhere. But uh, it's only on. The car is officially one piece. It's been a while since it's had its front bumper on. Um, I do have some other pieces that I wanted to install on the car today that we picked up yesterday. I do have the both the door handle and this little piece that Alex went ahead and gave to me. So just want to go ahead and knock that out. I also had someone mention to me that the gap on your door and quarter panel should be able to get fixed. I'm assuming by making some adjustments to this is kind of what I got the gist of. Okay. Huh. So it is a little bit adjustable as you guys can see. I'm going to go ahead and place it slightly more inwards and see if that makes a difference with the door. All right, let's check it out. Oh, wow. Yeah, look at that. It actually fixed the gap. There you go. That's kind of cool. Shout out to the guy that let me know that that was a solution. We no longer have a pretty bad gap. I could probably make a slightly minor adjustment, but I mean, it looks way better. It honestly looked like it was somewhat crashed or something beforehand, but there you go. Close is just fine. No more gap. And I know it's something minor, but honestly, it's been bugging me for the longest time. This little window visor here just tends to like move on its own. And when you're driving, you kind of don't want any type of uh, anything basically blocking your view or just kind of getting in the way. So, oh shoot, got this piece. Normally you have to remove the door handle just to be able to remove the door card. I just want to kind of have it in here just to kind of have it in place already. Um, these are very delicate as well, so just be very careful. I did break uh, the tan one when I had tan interior in here and uh, I broke the last black one that I had. We did do some minor adjustments for the car, but um, it's in the details, honestly, guys. Just try to take care of things. Uh, slowly over time I do want to make this car look super clean do expect a video super soon where I Basically put everything together like I previously mentioned in the previous video I do want to make that video and just showcase the last two years of uh, Build progress with the 3000 so I'm pretty hyped on that I want to make a build cost video So I'm going to show you guys what I've spent so far on the build just in case You kind of want to get an estimate or number on what it takes to get a VR4 uh, to this point so I got that uh, there's a bunch of videos that I got planned I pretty much just had to find the time and energy <laughs> to do this so a lot of content coming make sure you stay tuned make sure you like comment subscribe like I always say I'll see you on the next one